Welcome back to the kitchen, guys. We have something exciting. My single favorite form of food. It's a mug cake. It's a microwave cake that you make in like under five minutes. We've pretty much done all the basic mug cakes. This one is gonna be a PB&J mug cake. It's a little bit more complex. The, the mix up on this one is gonna be for the J, we're gonna be using blackberries. So not actually using jelly, we're gonna make a little homemade like quick jelly. Quick jelly, that's funny. Mug cakes always start with melting fat in the microwave to build the base. So this one, usually it's just butter. This one's gonna be butter, cream cheese, and peanut butter. So it's just a tablespoon of butter. It's gonna be two tablespoons of peanut butter. And this recipe actually took us a little bit of trial and error. So I'll explain how to get that peanut butter flavor in your mug cake, cause it's hard. Peanut butter by itself doesn't really do the job. You'd be surprised. As a general rule of thumb, you never wanna measure things when you're making a mug cake or else you're just kind of defeating the purpose. And then this here is more optional, I would say, but it definitely makes the texture of the final cake a lot better. A tablespoon of cream cheese. And now just melt that together in the microwave for about 30 seconds. We lost some cream cheese. So there's a cream cheese explosion that just happened. Mega saying you have to cover the mug or put the cream cheese on the bottom. Why does cream cheese explode? So there's all that. I'm just gonna mix that together. Doesn't look pretty yet. Okay, so here's where it gets a little bit complicated. Not really, you just need one ingredient that we don't use that often. So you need powdered peanut butter. This is gonna up the peanut butter flavor because with just peanut butter on its own, you don't get enough peanut butter flavor unless you're gonna use like a cup worth and then what are you doing with your life, right? Yeah, so we got this on Amazon, but if you look for other brands, there's like PB2, Crazy Richards. I think the PB2 one has sugar added to it. Just look to make sure, like you can see here, this, the ingredients, roasted peanuts. Uh, some of them will have sugar added, just check on that. It's gonna be two tablespoons, and this stuff is like really good. I love it. You just mix it with some water and eat it in a bowl. Then we're gonna do one and a half tablespoons of coconut flour. A little bit of baking powder, a half teaspoon. A little pinch of salt, optional. 20 drops of stevia for sweetness. If you like using other sweeteners better, of course, just use those. You could use erythritol, probably about a tablespoon or so. Would you say, a tablespoon? Two yeah. teaspoons, something like that. And then lastly, an egg. And one secret is if you don't wanna add the egg right into the hot fat microwave part. You wanna have the powder barrier so that the egg doesn't burn or cook. Crack that in, give that a mix. Comment below with what your guys' favorite easy mug cake recipe is. I know people are always looking for new ideas to try. My sister has a really good one. I think we have it on our channel, don't we? Yeah, the pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin pie mug cake, it's really good. So here's the consistency. You can see it's a lot thicker than typical mug cakes are. But what I found is the thicker it is, the more moist it actually comes out as. Keep an eye on this. We're gonna microwave it for 90 seconds to two minutes, somewhere in there. Okay, 90 seconds, because I like mine a little undercooked, so I always err on the side of undercooking it. Feeling, wow, that feels moist. What do you guys think about the word moist? Love it or hate it? Then I always just like to flip it out onto a plate. Flip it back over. Now you're probably thinking, I thought this was a peanut butter and jelly mug cake. Once you get the mug cake out of the mug, you can take your blackberries. I mean, you could just like garnish with blackberries if you wanted to. I'm gonna throw the blackberries in the mug, probably like, let's go four, five. You can also put the berries in before you microwave the mug cake. But now I'm just gonna smash them up. And this is going to not be very sweet. Berries on their own are not that sweet. So if you wanna add a little stevia, a little erythritol, go for it. But I like it like this. Dump that out. Check that out, guys. It almost looks like caviar. You can also do a drizzle of peanut butter on top. Let's give this a try. I'm gonna cut into it. Texture, see that? Nice and moist. Pretty fluffy. Mm, I'm back at the schoolyard. I had peanut butter, not peanut butter and jelly, just peanut butter on Wonder Bread every single day at school for lunch. This one took us a lot of troubleshooting. The missing link was this peanut butter powder. So you're not gonna get the peanut butter flavor you're looking for without this. And that's what's really coming through. The jelly's really good too. I don't think you need to add any sweetness to it. What could be good though is like a little mint. This is perfect. Your kids will love this. Great alternative to like Twinkies and other stuff. Give this one a try and check out some of our other mug cake recipes. If you like the idea, you just don't wanna get, you know, all fancy with all this stuff. 
Just try our basic delicious mug cake recipe. It has like four or five ingredients. You can make it in under two minutes. I'll link that one below, as well as this recipe in the description of this video. And if you want more recipes, ketoconnect.net. We got them all. We got probably, how many mug cake recipes now? Probably five, six? Yeah, seven. Seven. Got another five in our Fat Bomb Bible ebook. $10, you can get that. Uh, but yeah, bunch of free recipes on the website. Check those out and stick around, guys. We got recipes coming weekly. Thanks for watching.